Uh, the report is that the attempted assassins, we now hear it was a man and a woman who uh, fired the shots, were on the ledge of a building near the Houston Street underpass. Another is, and apparently this is correct, that one of the Secret Service agents whose job it was to guard the life of the president was killed in his uh, line of duty. The president was whisked from the scene of the attempted assassination or assassination depending upon his condition of course at this hour uh, by bus to Parkland Hospital which is located about a mile and a half from uh, this site which would make it about three miles from the site of the shooting. We also have just heard that perhaps Vice President Johnson was wounded in the arm in this instant. He was seen entering the hospital at least, holding his arm, and has not been seen in the corridors of the hospital with the waiting White House aides since. Governor Connolly could very possibly have been shot in the uh, back uh, with the assassin's bullet still coming from the front of the car. He rode in a small jump seat in the center of the back of the specially built presidential limousine, specially built for such uh, public uh, performances such as this. On the fourth or fifth floor, it has never been completely determined on which floor, of that building, four empty cartridges were found. Further plans are indefinite, but it's understood that the actual funeral services are going to be held in Boston after the lying in state in Washington. This is the rear entrance to the hospital through which the president's car was brought. There are the roses Mrs. Kennedy had been carrying. They were on the floor. They had gotten there in the car as Mrs. Kennedy put the head of her mortally wounded husband on her lap. This is the interior of the convertible. There were some others wounded at the scene of the shooting. They were brought in much later. Around the window from which the shot is believed to have been fired, there were bits of fried chicken, indicating that the man who used that gun had had a chicken lunch while waiting for the president's motorcade. No one knows at this time where Lee Harold Oswald is. Governor Conley was hit in the head and the wrist. President Kennedy, we are now informed, was shot in the right temple. It was a simple matter of a bullet right through the head, said Dr. George Berkeley, the White House medical officer. We know that Mr. Kennedy was hit in the right temple and that Governor Conley was hit in the head and wrist. That's all we know at the moment on Governor Connolly. We do not have a late report on his condition. As you know, the president died just about an hour ago from his wounds. Well, it's to the effect that a Secret Service agent and a Dallas policeman have been shot and killed some distance away from the area where President Kennedy was assassinated and um, no other information was immediately available. Now, there was an earlier report, Frank, uh, from WBAP-TV that a Dallas policeman had been shot to death approximately two miles from the scene where uh, the assassination on, uh, of President Kennedy took place. This uh, seems to be the same policeman, but that a Secret Service well agent was killed in addition. Uh, and they found a rifle on the fifth floor of that building. Police then received a tip that a man suspected as the assassin had gone into the Texas theater. Two Dallas policemen went into the theater. They uh, were told by an usher that a man had just come in. They spotted him. One policeman fired at the suspect who returned the fire, killing the first policeman. There was shooting within the theater. The other policeman then arrested the suspect who yelled, it's all over now. He was clapped into handcuffs and taken out. Uh, the indications are in the last story we had here that uh, the suspect had been taken into custody, Oswald, and uh, the dead Dallas policeman engaged in a, a shooting uh, affray within the Texas theater where the suspect was ultimately taken into custody. Uh, however, Murphy reported that the killing of the policeman took place in the vicinity that uh, Oswald was then chased into the theater and uh, then arrested. Late films have arrived in our newsroom from Dallas showing the scenes of horror and disbelief outside Parkland Hospital. Newsmen hurry to the emergency room. The president's wife arrives, stunned. This is Mrs. Kennedy in the middle. At this point, no one knows, no one knew rather, whether the president was alive or dead. Mrs. Kennedy conferring with a Dallas policeman who had sped the president to the hospital and into the emergency room 
goes Mrs. Kennedy. A corsage of roses lies inside the car in which President Kennedy was shot. The wounds indicated that an automatic weapon was used. And also a few minutes ago, John, uh, the newsman, I can't think of my name, no, uh, John Allen, told me that he heard a report from one of the radios, and this is only a report, uh, that there were four or five other people hit. I don't see how there could be because I know there were only three. There were, there were only three shots. Jerry, where's your mic? Mrs. Nunley. No, Newman. Newman. I've been calling you. I'm sorry. I don't even remember my own name, really. That's terrible. A Secret Service agent apparently was shot by one of the uh, assassin's bullets as well. Bill left the phone to check with the sheriff's office. He did confirm the uh, death of the Secret uh, Service agent. The United Press reports that the Steve president Martin. died at 1.35. That would be 1.35 Eastern Time, I presume. Uh, that would have been uh, about uh, 1.35 Central Time. That was only about two minutes ago. Now, that, again, is a, a United Press International uh, report. It is not attributed. We do not know uh, whether that is an official announcement by uh, anyone in the Kennedy party. Uh, first reports uh, said that President Kennedy was shot from an overpass. Uh, our WFAA-TV reporter, Mal Couch, saw the gun emerge from the upper story of the warehouse, which has turned out to be the second floor of the Texas Book Depository. Uh, one of the Secret Service men with, uh, traveling with President Kennedy was killed by the gunfire today. We have not received word uh, that any others were wounded may report this bulletin that a Secret Service agent and a Dallas policeman were shot and killed here today. They were shot some distance from the area where President Kennedy was assassinated. No other information immediately available from there, except one more point here that uh, this uh, Secret Service Lieutenant Eric Kaminsky has said the assassin's weapon appears to have been a high-powered army or Japanese rifle of 25 caliber. One of our newsmen, Mal Crotch, uh, said that he saw the rifle come out the window. Mal Crotch uh, said that he saw the rifle come out the window. Mal Crotch and Mal Crotch and Mal Crotch. As you would imagine, these uh, reporters became swarmed with with uh, investigators' secrets. There's the window man. there. The window right there where the fatal bullet was fired. The fatal shots were apparently fired from a fifth floor window and that that is where the uh, uh, the spent shells have been found. Interestingly, the the murder weapon itself was found on the sixth floor, which indicated that the assassin ran upstairs in an effort to hide the weapon before leaving the building. Dallas Crime Laboratory Lieutenant J.C. Day went to the building a short time after the uh, shooting took place and he walked out with a British 303 rifle. The rifle has a telescopic sight. Now the rifle was found on the sixth floor of the building near a corner window. Also, police searching that area found three empty 303 cartridge cases, also scraps of chicken, as if a person could have been there for some time. Now we are starting to get conflicting reports on weapons. Uh, there was one uh, that it was a 303 rifle and the three spent 303 cartridges were found on the fifth floor of this building uh, along with some remnants of chicken indicating that the sniper staked himself out for quite a while before firing the fatal shot today. Now there is uh, another word that a Mauser has been found, a uh, 7.65 Mauser. It's a German army rifle which had a telescopic sight with one shell left in the chamber. Three spent shells were found nearby. Um, what this means, whether this is the weapon or the other, we do not know. Possibly the Mauser is measured in millimeters and might come close to being a 303, Frank. Might well be. I would, I would expect certainly that during these early and confusing moments of this thing, we're likely to get uh, conflicting reports. Do you know what, exactly what kind of gun that uh, they found over at the, uh, the book? Yes, sir. They have uh, just found the weapon that they believe is the assassination weapon. It is an Argentine 6.5 Mauser that had a four-power scope on it. Also in this same area, they found a bag of chicken, they found uh, several bottles of soft drink, yeah. and in other words, the man had been planted there for some time. This is an Argentine-made bolt-action rifle of World War II vintage. You can see the telescopic sight. We have uh, 
heard that a definite identification has been made of the type of rifle used in the assassination of President Kennedy. It was not a Mauser, as has been reported through most of yesterday and today, but an Italian Man Lichter Carcianto, uh, manufactured in the Italian town of Carcianto. The uh, rifle uh, was a high-powered one with a, a sniper scope attachment that permitted marksmanship from that fifth floor window to do the job on the President of the United States in just one single shot. You're listening to KBOX 1480 in Dallas. The President of the United States has been assassinated and also one of the Secret Service men assigned to guard him against such an occurrence which happened here this afternoon. I'll repeat that, it's official now. Two deaths this afternoon at the hands of an assassin. Dallas police have recovered a foreign-made rifle believed to be a 30-30, and the young man is now being questioned by law authorities. And the word just in, a Secret Service man, has also expired. Governor Connolly, who was wounded in the wrist and the left shoulder, is now under surgery here at Parkland Hospital. Bill Hinton, KBOX News. Now for another direct report from the scene. Again, from the Texas School Book Depository Building, Dallas police officers here at this scene advised me that they captured a suspect in the shooting. The shootings of police officer Tippett, he was dead on arrival at Methodist, of President Kennedy, and also of Governor Connolly. He has admitted all three shootings. Whether it's true or not, we do not know. The police officers advised me here at the scene that the man has admitted everything, all three shootings. Downtown area, this is Sound Page, KBOX Mobile News Unit number four. This is Bill Hampton in the KBOX newsroom. This bulletin just in, a Secret Service agent and a Dallas policeman were shot and killed today. They were shot some distance from the area where President Kennedy was assassinated. No other information on these other two deaths immediately available. So we can look for Lyndon B. Johnson to be the next president of the United States. Within the next 12 hours, that inauguration will take place somewhere here in the state of Texas. At this moment, you may presume that the Chief Justice of the United States, Earl Warren, is now being flown to somewhere in Texas to inaugurate Lyndon Johnson as the 35th President of the United States. Police say they have a good suspect. They say he's admitted killing all three men during the shooting. They're checking it out extremely closely, though, to be sure that the man they have is the right man. Meanwhile, the search goes on. Now a report on a Dallas policeman slain in the line of duty, checking out an attempt on an assassin. In Dallas this afternoon, Dallas police detective J.D. Tippett lies dead in the course of duty protecting the chief executive's life, but too vain. Police detective J.D. Tippett, along with his partner, M.M. M. McDonald, were tipped by an usher of the Texas Theater in Oak Cliff that a man in a brown shirt had entered the theater. Police detectives thought the man to be the one responsible for the assassination death of John F. Kennedy. Bravely entering the theater with gun drawn, J.D. Tippett, police detective, and M.M. M. McDonald of the Dallas Police Department found the man when he fled, two shots being fired out. Detective Tippett firing into the air, the fugitive firing and striking Detective Tippett, killing him. However, Detective Tippett's partner, Detective M.M. M. McDonald, in a brief fight that ensued, arrested the man, and as the handcuffs were being slapped on him, the fugitive in the brown shirt shouted, it's all over now. The fugitive now in custody in the Dallas Police Department as the prime suspect in the assassination death of President John F. Kennedy. KBOX, Mobile News. This is KBOX 1480 in Dallas. We now have Sam Pate. K-Box News with a mobile report. And the 25-year-old suspect that's in police custody, wanted for shooting Officer J.D. Tippett at the Texas Theater in Oak Cliff, 
uttered these words to police officers moments ago, I killed me a president and a cop, now all I need is two more. Police officers found the rifle in the Sexton building, the school book depository building in the downtown area just off of Elm Street. One bullet left in the chamber that was not fired. Apparently they figured that their job was well done, didn't need to fire the other shot. And just moments ago an explosion reported on North Haven at the YMCA. I am en route to that scene at this time to check out all details. This is Sound Pay, KBOX Mobile News Unit number four from City Hall. You're listening to KBOX 1480 in Dallas. The Secret Service tells KBOX News that President Kennedy was apparently shot by a high-powered army or Japanese rifle, about 25 caliber. Dallas police say he was shot from a warehouse in which people were working. They found the remains of fried chicken and paper on the fifth floor, said the sniper apparently had been there for some time. The assassin, the man in custody, 30 years old, slender build, weighs about 165 pounds, stands 5 feet 10 inches tall. He has blonde hair, is balding, dressed in ragged-looking trousers and a sports shirt. From the Dallas Police Department, homicide detective Captain Will Fritz says it looks good. He's talking about a suspect they have. A man that said, and we quote his very words, I've killed me a cop and a president. Now I'm going to get me two more. We'll be back in just a moment. A Dallas policeman has been shot and killed while chasing a suspected assassin in the pres of the president through the movie theater in Oak Cliff section of Dallas. He was shot to death as he and a fellow officer ran into the rear exit of the theater while following a tip that the assassin might be inside. The other officer rushed the suspect. The man yelled, it's all over now. And as the officer grabbed him, the two fell struggling into a seat. The officer's face was slashed, but he managed to arrest the suspect. Police officer M. N. McDonald, who was caught across the face in the scuffle, quoted Oswald as saying, after he was subdued, well, it's all over now. I got me a president, I got me a cop. I need two more. A large crowd had congregated around the theater and witnessed the arrest. Police had to hold the crowds back because many apparently connected the arrested man with the slaying of the president. The slain officer was identified as J.D. Tippett. Oswald is about five foot nine inches tall, weighing approximately 160 pounds. He has blonde hair and is balding. He was dressed in ragged looking trousers and a tan sports shirt. Oswald was pulled screaming and yelling from the Texas theater in the Oak Cliff sector had a pistol which officers took away from him after a scuffle. A policeman who was cut on the face in the scuffle quoted Oswald as saying, well, it's all over now. I've killed me a cop and the president. I'm going to get me two more. Two law enforcement agency officers killed, a Dallas detective and a Secret Service man. The Secret Service says President Kennedy apparently was shot by a high-powered rifle, they think a 25 caliber, possibly a 3 6 Dallas police say he was shot from a warehouse in which the people were working. They have a suspect in custody. Captain Will Fritz says, it looks like we have a good suspect. The man said, and we quote, I've killed me a cop and a president, and now I'm going to kill me two more. Three lives snuffed out, the president of the United States, two law enforcement agencies, a Dallas detective, a secret service man. When asked to specify about the wound, the doctor said the president was shot in the forehead. 